Hello everyone, my name is Bo Alexander and I'm so glad that you're here. So many of you have messaged me and commented on my previous videos asking me where I source inspiration for my home. And I'll tell you, the majority of my inspiration comes from home decor catalogs and magazines, from photos that I see on Instagram and Pinterest, and from shopping online and in-store. But my all-time favorite and what I can't wait to show you today would be walking through model homes. There is nothing I like more than to walk around professionally decorated model homes on the weekends. This helps me to gather ideas that I can recreate and execute in my own space. Lucky for me, there are a couple just down the way, so I figured we could check them out together. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to down below. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this in the comments and give me a like so that I know to do more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at BowTalksNow for more day-to-day -day posts and inspiration. Come explore with me and let's see what these model homes have in store for us today. This first model home is designed in a contemporary decor style. The word contemporary here essentially means of the moment, and this decor style is defined by simplicity, subtle sophistication, and the deliberate play on texture and clean lines. Contemporary decor is unique because it borrows elements from an array of varying aesthetics, most notably modern, traditional, and art deco design. Neutral tones, black, White and gray make up the bulk of the colors used in contemporary styled interiors. You'll notice too that less is more, giving the eye a chance to bounce from piece to piece across the landscape of a space. Notice the geometric panels and textiles, the plays on texture, tonal pattern, and concise color combinations. Many of the accents that were chosen are simple, uncluttered, and employ cool toned silver and chrome metals to enrich the space by adding reflective and polished surfaces. This vignette is by far one of the more stunning arrangements within this home. There is a bold contrast between the chrome table lamps, the alternating leather-bound books, and the geometric sculpture that adorn this modern wooden credenza. The main living area, too, is designed in a clean and classic neutral color palette. These grayish, painted shiplap walls enhance the verticality of the stacked, pure white marble fireplace. The designers of this space incorporated texture into this room in the form of decorative faux fur and hide accent pillows, natural geode crystals, and painted tree bark wall art. I love these faceted decorative mirrors that were methodically placed opposite this window to increase the amount of natural light cast into the room. The chairs in the seating area reminded me of the Wassily chair that I have in my home. This style here is actually the Cleamore Accent Chair by Ashley Furniture and it retails for $459. The pair of chairs sits atop this irregular shaped rug to easily and effectively define the space. The dining room in this model was edgy. You'll notice a substantial table, structured matching seating, a sense of symmetry, and a console to tie everything together. The decorative add-ons in this space are minimal but impactful nonetheless. In contemporary spaces, you'll want to seek out eclectic elements that will double as unique conversation starters while adding depth and personality to an otherwise minimalist space. Another thing to keep in mind is natural light. Windowed walls are common in these contemporary environments, but if they're not an option, do your best to let natural light flow in from any available window source. This marble's varying depth of grayscale veining serves as the main centerpiece of this kitchen's countertops and backsplash.
Again, be sure to take notice of the commitment to modern simplicity, the attention to space and lines, geometric forms and shapes, and a strict, neutral color palette that's pleasing to the eye. As I head upstairs, I was met with this pair of industrial, caged pendants. For the sake of design, this closet space doubled as a shelved display case. The motif here being game room themed decor that incorporate black, white, silver, and natural wood accents throughout. Remember that in terms of design, the word texture refers to how an item looks like it will feel. You will notice the designers of this loft area added a variety of textures to help add visual interest and contrast in this space. The black line wall art and the earthy tones from the natural wood grain ground and add warmth to the muted space. This master suite had an extremely sleek and serene style. Again, you will notice the design highlights the layering of natural light throughout the room to create a tranquil and retreat-like environment. This light, bright, and airy feel pairs well with calming neutral furnishings and color schemes to evoke a sense of relaxation. As I mentioned earlier, less is definitely more. The bare white space in this room is equally as important as areas that are filled with objects, so each piece has the opportunity to stand out. This wooden slat ceiling offers a modern and contemporary twist that has become an essential part of this room's decor and draws the eye upward. The vignettes in this room were asymmetrical and displayed objects together in odd numbers for maximum impact in varied heights, depths, and textures. The bathroom countertops featured the same heavily veined marble as the kitchen and were free of clutter, accented and organized with decorative trays and aesthetically pleasing toiletries. On my way down to the basement, I was met with quite an assortment of wall art pieces and more black and white frame photographs. The game room motif from the loft on the upper level was mimicked here in the basement. The wet bar too had a very minimalistic display of stemware, decanters, and liquor bottles themselves as decor accents. This wood slat wall, similar to the ceiling of the master bedroom, is defined by the strict vertical lines that draw the eye up. The designers created two separate seating areas in this space in contrasting colors and forms. These four black leather armchairs sat fixed around this rounded coffee table in the first, and in the second you will notice the juxtaposition of this angular sectional, console, and accent tables. And because I love artistic sculptures, I had to stop to appreciate this figure that stood atop this travertine plinth on my way out. And now it's time to move on to the next model. The second model home was designed professionally to elicit a modern farmhouse aesthetic, though I would say it still appeared more contemporary in decoration. The dining room was less rustic in execution and actually leaned glam due to this Harlow crystal rectangular chandelier. This piece, which is 62 inches in length, hung above a minimally accented table that evoked a classic and traditional restoration hardware style. The 
table settings too were somewhat showy due to the metallic chargers and exaggerated and elongated stemware. I love the faceted crystal prisms and how they reflect and refract light. This restoration hardware chandelier can be yours for a small fortune at $6,615. Generally, most homes have the same colored cabinetry throughout a kitchen and home. This model, however, had an island in a contrasting color that added visual interest to the space. Notice the flat, polished edge of these marble countertops and the white ceramic decor accents that line the glass front cabinets. In many model homes, you will notice the decorative panels are placed on either side of a window and as high up to the crown molding as possible. This is crucial in design and will aid in making both the window and the room overall feel more spacious. The palette of muted furnishings in the living room encouraged an air of sophistication. The coffee table was minimally accented with a white decorative bowl and contrasting chrome orbs. Well-placed pillows and throws welcomed the deep and muted smoky tones of gray and mustard into the space. The designers kept the sideboard of the office minimally decorated too, with a decanter and old-fashioned glasses, a decorative wooden disc, and a chrome picture frame. I'll be honest and say I've seen a majority of the pieces styled in this home office shelving unit while shopping at HomeGoods and HomeSense, so the pieces you see, though attractive, are super attainable. The styling of this bookshelf was kept super simple in contrasting black and white accents, books, vases and vessels, boxes, and varied objects. Notice too that in almost every room of either house we've seen that there is some form of architectural light source used to unify the space. These strategically placed lights are striking and create distinctive focal points. Gallery walls are a great way to add character and personality to a space. In this instance, the staircase gallery wall was fashioned as a single piece of art to make use of an area that is often overlooked. The floating shelves in this loft instantly increased the room's storage capacity, looked great, and further added a sense of dimension to the shiplap walls. This bedroom design was more formal in approach and featured a classic elegance with hotel-styled furnishings for subtle glam that's not over the top. The added visual texture from the bed linens, pillows, rug, and panels make a bold visual statement against the design's clean lines. The classic blend of neutral gray and sunshine yellow continued on in the stylish basement. This well-designed space was transformed into the perfect warm and welcoming area for family and friends to enjoy. So that is it for this week's video, you guys. I hope that you continue to feel inspired while sourcing inspiration and decor to elevate your home in your own unique style. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification so that you can be notified first for upcoming posts and videos. I have something really, really exciting in the works that I can't wait to share with you guys next weekend. So until next time, bye.